Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is a quick demo tutorial on how to solve the edges of a Pyramix crystal. Um, a number of people have complained to me that my videos sort of demo how to make a commutator and they don't really demo how to use it. Um, and in the case of the Pyramix crystal, the, it's just a sort of a simple 1 1 commutator like that to three cycle edges. Um, so I am going to demo a solve of a Pyramix crystal, um, or at least the edges portion of it. I have already solved all of the corners, these are just Megaminx corners on this puzzle. Now I'm going to go about solving all of the Pyramix crystal edge pieces, uh, and I'm going to sort of do it in a slow and inefficient way um, for the most part because, it, well, it'll just be easier to see how the commutators work. So I'm going to solve each one of these pieces one at a time, and I'll, I'll mostly talk about what I'm, what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to solve uh, this white face first. So I'm going to call that the bottom or the top. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to solve all the white face, then I'm going to solve all these edges around it, and then I'm going to solve all of these edges, and so on and so forth. I'm going to solve my way up to the yellow face. Or if you prefer to look at it this way, I'm going to solve my way down. It doesn't really matter. Um, for the Pyramix Crystal, I, I prefer to sort of solve bottom up. So I'm looking for the edges that have white pieces on them. And so we, here we have a, a brown white edge. And very conveniently, it's already oriented properly. So if I, if I bring this edge down, that's the x part of the commutator. Then I need to bring this edge down. That's the y part. Undo x, undo y. And I will have three cycle these pieces counterclockwise. So we'll have taken the edge that was there and put it right there. The edge that was here, put it right here. The edge that was right here, and put it right there. Now, great, that solved a little white sticker, but I didn't actually put the brown-white piece in the right place. I put it in the green-white piece's place. So we actually need to undo that. Um, that wasn't useful. So we're going to use a setup move here. See how I'm spinning the white face. So there's the spot that the brown-white piece needs to go into. I'm going to do the same thing. And I'll undo the setup move. And we have just solved the brown-white piece. Okay, very conveniently, here's a blue-yellow piece, or excuse me, uh, blue-white. Again, setup move, do a commutator, and do setup move. And I wasn't really worried, I don't care if that piece is solved or not, I'm just going to break it. Okay, here's the green-white piece. Notice I started with this side that time instead of this side. I just wanted to cycle it differently. This commutator is so short, the 1-1 the one -one commutator is so short, um, that it's just very intuitive to use. So I don't usually have to think about it. Now, this piece is going to pose a little bit more of a problem. Um, we could do that, but see how it looks? It's going to go in backwards. So, I'm gonna, so instead, we can sort of look at it over here. We can do this instead. Bring that over three times. So let me show that to you again. Here it is right here. We could put it right there, right? Or we could do it like that. Um, or if, you, if that looks too complicated, I'll do one of those later. We can just bring it over here sort of inefficiently um, just fine. So let's bring it to the top here. That I didn't actually place any edge usefully there. And we've already got this purple one up here. So let's actually handle that one first. So let's bring this purple white one down. Oh, but its orientation is wrong, so that's not going to be helpful to us. So let's bring this light blue white one. We'll keep on bringing it down. And then, here we go. So this white blue piece is going to go in here, and we're going to care what that happens to that one. So we just solved another white blue piece. Now, I really think that that's just so horribly inefficient that it's just wrong to do, to move it that many times. So I just did a setup move here, and that purple one's going to go into place right there. So let me undo that setup move. Okay. So again, I want to solve this purple white piece, and I know the purple white spot is right there. I'm going to bring it down three times, then commutator with this purple green, and then bring that back three times, and then undo, and then we have to undo our setup move. There we go. And we have the entire white face solved, or all the edges that have a white sticker on them solved. So now we need to solve these these edges that are about the, the white face, and that one's already solved. So here we go. So this is a blue-brown one, 
and we want this blue-brown one to actually go right there. So again, because these commentators are so intuitive, I think what I can do is I can just do that, that, oh, and it went in the wrong place. So that's not going to help us at all. Okay, so instead, um, so let's bring it up. So that was a cycle of that piece, that piece, and that piece. Okay. Now, there we go. Came in nicely. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, here's a purple green, but it's going to go in backwards. So what we need to do is something like. So I just put it right there, a cycle of those pieces. Now I can bring it down around like that. Undo that. Okay. So here we go. Here's this brown blue piece, but it's going to go in backwards. So instead, let's bring it up here. And then brown blue. Oops. Yeah, brown blue. Okay. So now we only have this green blue piece left. Probably gonna have to need to use a setup move for this one. Okay, so here we go. But it's in backwards, and there's no other piece that's gonna be really easy for us to make a commutator out of. Um, so instead, we're gonna do something like this. So we did a setup move. Now we're gonna do another setup move. Nope, that one won't work either. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a setup move here. And then a setup move there. Nope, that's again not going to work. Um, okay, so I want to. what I really want to do is I want to bring it in this place so that I can bring that. No, nope, okay. Why is this not going to work? Unfortunately, doing a video where you have to think on your feet and speak about what you're doing at the same time is, is a little bit of a challenge. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So now we have all of the edge pieces around the face solved. Now we need to solve all of these edge pieces. Edge, 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 so on and so forth. So basically we're looking for things that still have one of these big one of these five colors, the green, the light blue, the brown, the dark blue, or the purple. Any piece with one of those five colors. So here's one, so that piece is going to need to go right there. So let's bring it up. And then Okay. There that goes. Um, and then let's see, or do we have any convenient ones along the top here? No, we don't. So here's this other brown one. We'll bring that up. And then we'll bring that over. Undo that setup move. Now we've got this pink light blue piece. That's going to go in nicely like that. Okay, and now we've got uh, this like blue, this dark blue, dark green piece. That should go right there. So is there an easy way for us to get it over there? We could do that, but that would break that piece. Oh, but we could use this piece instead. So do it like that, and we'll use this piece over here to finish the commentator. And, oh, did I screw something up? I think I did. Yep. Oh, I put it in backwards. That's the, no, I did. Let me undo. Okay. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We want to bring this blue piece. Ah, that's what I did wrong. Okay. I undid by two. So bring it down here, and we'll do this commutator. That's, that's the Y part, and then we need to undo the X part, undo the Y part, and then we can undo our setup move. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I, I ended up confusing myself there. Okay, so we've got this purple-red piece. It's in the wrong spot. We can bring it up. Now we can do a setup move and we can bring it down. Undo the setup move. 
Oh, and we got this purple orange. Notice it, it's going to go in the wrong, it's going to go in backwards. So we could do that. Simple setup move to change its orientation. Um, okay, so we'll, yes, we can do this instead. Do that setup move. Okay, it's dark blue, light blue. Okay, it's right there. That's going to be a little bit harder to, to do anything with. Um, somehow we have to get it. Well, so let's get it in that position right there. And so if we do this, 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 and then undo that setup move, now it's in that position. Now its orientation is wrong, so we need to flip its orientation around. And then, and then we can undo our setup move. Okay, now we got this red, green, perfect. Okay, now we got this blue, orange, and there it is, but its orientation is wrong, so bring it like that. Okay, so now we have, so we're on the home stretch here. We have this, these pieces around here. We're going to complete, basically we're going to not solve any of the pieces that have a yellow sticker, and we're going to solve all the pieces that don't have a yellow sticker on them, since we're at the last face. So basically, this piece right here, this, this green-orange piece, needs to go in that green-orange spot. It's very easy to do when it's opposite, because we can use a setup move to either side. So let's bring it over there. Now it's opposite right there. Now because the orange piece is this sticker, then we're going to use the orange face to do the setup. And notice how it's going to come in. If we used the uh, green face instead, then it would come in with the orientation backwards. So undo our setup. And then essentially we're going to rinse repeat. So here's the red orange, and that is the red orange spot right there. So if we get it opposite, it'll be really easy. So that little commutator to do it opposite. Now orange face. So and then undo our setup move. Here's red blue. Red blue is in the wrong spot. Um, so if we do that, we do a setup move, and now we're going to bring it to there. So bring that piece down, then that piece over, and then let's see how we put it right there. I finished the commutator. Okay, so that put it on the top face for us nicely. Now we're going to put it over there. Okay, and like I said, I was going to do this terribly efficiently so that it's easy to see how things are getting cycled. Blue face. Okay, and now we've got the pink blue, and no, that's, see, that's the wrong orientation. So let's put it right there. OK. And now the blue up and put it in. Undo setup move. Now all we have left is the pink green piece. It's already nice and opposite. OK, so now we're on the home stretch, the last five edges. Um, so the way, the easiest way to solve these, like you can three cycle these a whole bunch of different ways, but I think the easiest way is to solve two edges that are opposite each other. Don't solve two adjacent to each other because that's a little bit harder to see. So, um, well, we can solve, hmm, I don't see a way to solve. In, well, okay, so I'm just going to do a three cycle. This is, doesn't do anything useful. Okay, so now we can solve that piece right there. Okay, so now we have the, we don't ignore the orientation for a second. Now we need to solve that red, so if we solve, we can either solve the orange piece or the red piece so that we have two opposite each other that are solved. And so the red one's easy because it's right there, so we'll bring that down. Okay, so now the red solved and the pink solved. So now it's just one three cycle left. So now we put the blue piece there, green piece there, undo X, undo Y. Okay, so now we only have two edges that need to be flipped. Now, if you've seen my How to Solve a Star Minx video, I show you how to do this. Instead of doing sort of a, a permutation commutator, you do an orientation commutator. Um, it's really easy when they're opposite each other like this. So that's what we're going to do. So. I did a setup move to make them opposite each other. Then I'll replace one with the other. Well, actually, let's replace one with the other this way. Now we need to basically flip the, well, let me think about this. Okay, replace one with the other. 
Now we need to flip this orientation. Now we put, need to put the other in that spot and we need to undo the flip. Okay, so now we've just flipped their orientation. Now I'm gonna undo that first setup move and the puzzle solved. So, terrible time, terrible move count, but that's not really what matters for this, this puzzle. Is it's, you know, it's the fact that we solved it. Um, and hopefully that's a reasonable demo of how to use, you know, sort of this free form commutator, you know, to cycle pretty much any piece you want. Um, and uh, let me demo the orientation commutator um, one more time. So to change an orientation on, on this puzzle, um, you swap two pieces. So you know, just switch their position. Then you invert the orientation of the piece. So there we put it in backwards. Now then we undo our orientation change. And there you go. You'll get two pieces whose orientation is, is, is flipped. So. I hope that that demos how to use sort of a really simple commutator to finish out this puzzle. This puzzle is pretty straightforward. Um, in my opinion, the, the Megamix corners are so much harder than the, than the Pyramix crystal edges um, that there's just, really, if you can do the corners, then, then go ahead and take the time and you'll be able to do these edges no problem. Good luck.